In a peaceful farmyard, there lived a chicken named Cuckoo. Cuckoo was no ordinary chicken, she laid eggs of pure gold, much to the amazement of the farmer and the other animals on the farm. Cuckoo's best friend was Mansi, a gentle and kind chicken who had recently joined the farm. Every day Cuckoo proudly laying a golden egg, which shines brightly in the sunlight, while Mansi looks on in wonder. The farmer, a kind-hearted man named Mr. Jenkins, was overjoyed with Cuckoo's golden eggs. He would collect them every morning and sell them at the market, using the money to improve the farm and care for the animals. Mr. Jenkins' face filled with gratitude, while Mansi helps him daily. Yes, Cuckoo was happy to help the farm and her fellow animals. But she began to feel a bit lonely. She longed for companionship and wished for someone to share her golden eggs with. That's when Mansi arrived at the farm, Cuckoo and Mansi clucking happily together, the two chickens becoming fast friends. Together, Cuckoo and Mansi laid more golden eggs than ever before. They used the eggs to help the farm and the other animals, spreading joy and prosperity throughout the farmyard. Cuckoo laying golden eggs and using them to improve the farm, with the other animals looking on in amazement. But one day, disaster struck. A mischievous fox snuck into the farmyard and stole all the golden eggs, leaving Cuckoo and Mansi devastated. The foxes sneaked into the coop and stealing the golden eggs, with Cuckoo and Mansi looking on in shock. Determined to get their eggs back, Cuckoo and Mansi devised a clever plan. They enlisted the help of the other animals on the farm and set a trap for the fox. Cuckoo, Mansi, and the other animals setting up a trap for the fox, using the remaining golden eggs as bait. When the fox returned that night, he was caught in the trap. Cuckoo and Mansi bravely confronted him and demanded the return of their golden eggs. Cuckoo and Mansi stood tall in front of the trapped fox, their eyes blazing with determination. The fox, realizing he had been outsmarted, reluctantly returned the golden eggs. Cuckoo, Mansi, and the other animals celebrated their victory, grateful to have their precious eggs back. Cuckoo, Mansi, and the other animals started celebrating, with the golden eggs shining brightly in their hands. From that day on, Cuckoo and Mansi continued to lay golden eggs, but they were always vigilant, knowing that there were dangers in the world. Once upon a time, in a village nestled among the hills, there lived three dwarfs named Digger, Dazzle, and Doodle. Each dwarf had their own unique talents and quirks, but together they were the best of friends and inseparable companions. Digger, Dazzle, and Doodle in their cozy cottage, each dwarf engaged in their favorite activities. One sunny morning, the three dwarfs decided to embark on an adventure to explore the magical forest that lay beyond their village. Armed with their trusty tools and a sense of excitement, they set off into the unknown. All the three dwarfs marching through the forest, their eyes wide with wonder. Their first stop was a sparkling stream, where Dazzle spotted a group of colorful fish swimming lazily. Doodle, with his quick reflexes, caught a fish with his bare hands, and the dwarfs enjoyed a delicious meal by the water's edge. Dazzle admiring the fish, while Doodle catches one, and Digger prepares it for cooking. Energized by their meal, the dwarfs continued deeper into the forest, where they came across a field of blooming flowers. Digger, with his love for all things green, stopped to admire the flowers, and even found a rare species that he carefully replanted in their garden. Digger carefully replanting the flower, with Dazzle and Doodle looking on in admiration. As the sun began to set, the three dwarfs found themselves at the edge of a mysterious cave. Curiosity getting the better of them, they ventured inside, where they discovered a hidden treasure trove of gems and jewels. The dwarfs exploring the cave and marveling at the treasures, their eyes shining with excitement. With their arms full of sparkling treasures, the dwarfs made their way back to the village, where they shared their stories and treasures with the other villagers. The three dwarfs had returned from their adventure with hearts full of joy and memories that would last a lifetime. The villagers gathering around the three dwarfs, listening to their tales and admiring their treasures. And so, Digger, Dazzle, and Doodle continued to go on many more adventures, exploring the world around them and spreading joy wherever they went. For these three dwarfs knew that life was an adventure best shared with friends. All the three dwarfs walking off into the sunset, their silhouettes outlined against the colorful sky, with the happy words to enjoy watching our artsy monkey channel. Tom couldn't believe summer vacation was over. As he stood at the bus stop, 
he felt a mix of excitement and nervousness about the new school year ahead. He had spent the summer exploring the woods behind his house, playing with his friends, and reading his favorite books. But now, it was time to return to school. As the bus pulled up, Tom climbed aboard and found a seat by the window. He watched as familiar sights passed by. The park where he and his friends had picnics, the ice cream shop where they had indulged in sweet treats, and the library where he had spent hours reading. Now, when he arrived at school, uh, Tom was greeted by his friends with hugs and high fives. They talked about their summer adventures and shared stories of their time apart. Yes. As they walked to their first class, Tom felt grateful for the memories he had made over the break. Oh, the day flew by as Tom reunited with his teachers and classmates. He was excited to learn new things and tackle new challenges. But as the final bell rang, signaling the end of the day, Tom's excitement turned to worry. He had forgotten to do his summer reading assignment. With only a week left to complete it, Tom knew he had to act fast. Determined to finish the book, Tom raced home and dove into the story. Late into the night, Tom read about the adventures of the characters and the lessons they learned. He found himself drawn into the world of the book, forgetting about his worries and focusing on the journey of the characters. Ah, honey, when he finally finished the last page, Tom felt a sense of accomplishment. He had completed his assignment and discovered a new favorite book. As he drifted off to sleep, Tom looked forward to the adventures and challenges that the new school year would bring. Now, Tom would like you to subscribe and keep watching Artsy Monkey Channel. In the heart of a bustling kingdom, there was a legend whispered among the townspeople about a mystical golden spoon. It was said that whoever possessed this spoon would be blessed with endless food and prosperity. One day, a young girl named Alara heard about the legend and became intrigued. Determined to find the golden spoon, she set off on a journey across the kingdom. She searched far and wide, asking every person she met if they knew of the spoon's whereabouts. After many days of searching, Alara stumbled upon an old wise woman who claimed to know the location of the cross of the golden spoon. The woman told Alara that the spoon was hidden deep within the enchanted forest, guarded by a fierce dragon. Undeterred by the danger, Alara ventured into the forest, guided by the woman's directions. As she approached the dragon's lair, her heart pounded with fear. But she remembered the stories of the golden spoon's power and pressed on. When she reached the dragon's lair, Alara found the golden spoon lying atop a pile of treasure. With trembling hands, she reached out and grabbed it. To her surprise, the dragon stirred but did not attack. Instead, it spoke to her in a gentle voice. You have shown bravery and determination, young one. The dragon said, You are worthy of the golden spoon's power. Elara thanked the dragon and hurried back to the kingdom, clutching the golden spoon tightly. Appa, <laughs> as soon as she returned, she tested its powers by stirring a pot of plain water. To her amazement, the water transformed into a delicious, hearty soup. Word of Alara's discovery spread quickly, and soon, people from all over the kingdom came to her for help. With the golden spoon, her Alara was able to provide food for the hungry and prosperity for the needy. From that day on, Alara became known as the bearer of the golden spoon, using its powers to bring joy and abundance to all who crossed her path. The legend of the golden spoon lived on, a reminder of the power of kindness and courage. <laughs> Alara, hope you enjoyed watching Artsy Monkey Channel. Please subscribe to our Artsy Monkey Channel.